Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to focus on introduction to exponents and this is the second part. In this part, the base that we're going to have is a variable. Before we jump into these examples we have here, let's have a review on the basics of exponents. We remember that this notation that we have here is read as b raised to the power m or this is also read as b to the mth power or this is also read as b to the exponent m where our b here is called the base. Base b is a factor that is raised to a certain power and our m here is called the exponent or the power. Exponent m, sometimes called the power, shows how many times the base b is used as a factor. Or pretty much it shows how many times we multiply b by itself. So looking at this example that we have here, we can go ahead and say that our 2 is the base and the 5 is the exponent. And in the second example, the p is the base and 7 is the exponent. So this means that this can be read as 2 raised to the power 5, or this is 2 raised to the 5th power, or this is 2 raised to the exponent 5. We can go ahead and rewrite this as, that's gonna be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. This means that the base 2 will be multiplied by itself 5 times. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And so if we use calculator on this, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, this will give us 32. Now please remember that this is called the exponent form, this is called the factored form, and this is called the standard form. So I'm just going to label that up here. Okay, so if we look at the second example right here, p raised to the power 7, from this we can say that p will be multiplied 7 times. So I'm just going to write that um, up here. And so this is the expanded form or the factored form for p raised to the power 7. We remember that bases and exponents can be used to rewrite expressions that involve repeated multiplication by the same number or variable. Okay, going back to the examples that we have here, let's start with the first one. So this is read as k to the seventh power. Now, as you can see here, our base is k and the exponent is 7. This means that k will be multiplied 7 times so that we can go ahead and rewrite this as k and then we're going to repeat this 7 times. This is our factored form and this one right here is our exponent form. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try these two problems out on your own and when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So this is read as m raised to the power 5. And so we go ahead and write m 5 times. So I'm just going to write that down here. So again, this is our factored form and this is our exponent form. Now let's move on to the next one right here. So our base is p and we're supposed to multiply p four times so that we can go ahead and rewrite this as again this is our factored form and this is our exponent form did you get the same answers as this yeah. good perfect now let's do it backwards what happens here is that I give you factored form and we're supposed to write this in exponent form. So in this case, what we have right here, our base is W. So I'm just going to write W 
and I count how many times W was multiplied. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4. So that would be W to the 4th power. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try these two problems out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So we have an A as our base and we count how many times A was multiplied. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is A to the exponent six or this is read as A to the sixth power. So this is our exponent form and this is our factored form. Now let's move on to the next one right here. We have y as our base and we count how many times y was multiplied. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that is y to the 8th power. Again, this is our exponent form and this is our factored form. Did you get the same answers as this? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.